So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. Meh. M E H. Meh. Woo! All right, Treagles, what's happening? Is it May yet? These two games a week are killing my bank account. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the hive. It's Barnet v Solihull Moors in the Vanarama National League. So I've been told that my vlogs have been the same for the last four seasons. Maybe I need to jazz it up a little. You like jazz? How was that? Jazzy enough for you? Did you like the guy in the sax thrusting in your face? See, I'm willing to change and listen when things are a little bit stale. Unlike our management team and our football. But anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get to the football news! So Solihull finished second last season in the Vanarama National League, where they played 46 times, winning 25, drawing 11, losing 10, scoring 73, conceding 43, giving them a goal difference of plus 30, and they ended on 86 points. All that hard work and you still didn't go up. They currently sit 10th, and the last five games have been two wins, one draw, and two losses. <laughs> Tim Flowers is still in charge, and he has been since the 20th of June 2018. He's now taking 72 games, winning 36, drawing 15, and losing 21. And that gives him a win percentage of 50%. It was 58.54 last time we met. The wheel's coming off a bit. <laughs> Number nine, Paul McCallum, who has four goals in seven games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 6th of the 10th, 2018. Barnet 2, Sully Hulmore's nil. Wesley Fongook with both goals. No more highlights. Barnet have turned into MI6. If you don't believe me, look at a YouTube page. There's a massive gap where they've deleted a bunch of videos. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Sully Hulmore's. I caught your chairman giving it portions abroad. Excuse me, sporty. I hope you don't mind me interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing that we appear to be considerably richer than you. How's that cash cow working out for you so far this season? You bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet! <laughs> Starting 11 for Barnet today in a different formation. We're going with a 3 5 2. Loach in between the sticks. Your free center arse of Captain Cannon Reynolds, Ricardo Santos, and making his first appearance this season, Dan Sweeney. Shay Alexander as your right wing back. Maro Valetti as your left wing back. Two center miss a day, the Bash Brothers. <laughs> Harry and Jack Taylor, Wesley Fongook in the number 10 role, and up front, Alfie Pavey and Simeon Akinoda. And this is our Sully Hull Moores lineup for today. Almost 20 in, it's still nil nil. Both teams are playing a 3 5 2. It's very hard to break either side down. Both teams keeping the ball well, trying to pick their moment. Cullum had a chance, he headed it over the bar. We've done a nice bit of work for about 30 seconds, keeping the ball works here from one side to the other. Played through Valletti, who had a shot, flicked it for a corner, and then nothing came of that. Opening 20 minutes, nil nil. And then two minutes later, our best attempt at goal. Jack Taylor whips at about 25. Yards. Sim wins the header, knocks it down. Callum Reynolds gets half a chance on it. Straight out to the keeper, and the keeper pushes it wide. A couple of minutes before half time, it's still nil nil. Both teams organised, hard to break down. We finished it with possession wise. Half time we're at a hive and it's Barnet nil, it's Sully Holmes nil. Three even half, both teams are working hard, they're working well in the pool. Very hard to break down both sides. A chance each for both teams. Sully Hull resorting us to long efforts, but at least there's a bit more fine effort in this game than it was on Tuesday night. In an easy half for both keepers, neither one of them has really been worked. Need a little bit of individual magic and skill just to set this game apart from each other. Let's see how we got in the second half. Come on, Barnet. the 
second half is still nil nil. Another golden opportunity from us. Alfred Pay, the great hold up play, plays through to Fongu, who turns, nice little turn, gets a bit of a scoop, keep a push wide. Into the last 20, it's still nil nil. Second half, we've dominated possession, haven't really tested the keeper enough with it. Couple of chances. Sully Hole haven't really offered anything going forward for them in the second half. Ten to go, still nil nil. We thought Pavey had scored his first goal for us, but it was ruled out. Five minutes remaining of the 90s, still nil nil. We ain't even made a sub yet. It's a 90 of still nil nil. Five injury minutes to play. So the game finished Barnet nil, Solly Moore's nil. Positives. We changed formation, Dan Sweeney played, and it was better than Ebbsfleet on Tuesday. That's it. Really struggling to sum this game up, try and make it a bit beefy, give you a bit of excitement, give you something. Both teams set up with a 3-5-2. Both was hard to break down. Both have resorted to long shots. A couple of chances for us in the second half, which we should have put to bed. People say Solihull play anti-football. They finished second last season for a reason. So let's just move on. Tuesday, away to Files. <laughs> what more do you want me to say? You know what to do. Tyler. You like jazz?